100 dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is the sixth video in the series NerdDice.com where we build a web application with Ruby on Rails 7. So we're in the process of going through some of these initial project setup uh, items that essentially are uh, applicable to any uh, any Rails project that you're running. So we've gone through and we've um, installed and configured RuboCop. We, uh, in the very first video, generated the project and set up the GitHub, video, the GitHub repo and the, uh, the project that you're looking at right now on GitHub. And then we proceeded after that to set up GitHub Actions, which allow us to if you go into actions here, uh, have different uh, builds and whatnot so that you can uh, test that your, your tests are passing, that you can um, kind of have a check, especially if you had multiple people committing and pushing to your repo, you'd wanna run these, these checks every time so that you protect the uh, integrity of your, your application and that you're checking that anything that's uh, that's new doesn't um, doesn't break anything you're just supposed to do, do that locally as you're developing of course but uh, having something like that on the uh, the repo itself uh, allows you to um, make sure that nothing actually gets into the um, uh, like the main branch of your repo without um, being checked on so uh, we've done that and then in our last video we set up coveralls for our project so you can if you go to our uh, the nerddice.com repo here on uh, stateless code org and github you can see that we set up uh, coverage here and that takes us to our um, the um, repo info for this um, for this project uh, and then in the, uh, and so left to do from this, uh, I have a couple things. I uh, had one that's been here for a while, uh, needs uh, code climate set up. And then uh, I added a new one just recently, uh, allow for the application system test uh, driver to be provided by the CLI. So we'll take a look first at the code, code climate setup move that into in progress. So an example of this, go back to, let's look at our issue here. So uh, I noted in the comment, uh, yeah, in the description here that um, Nerd Dice has this set up. So you can go see here that there's this maintainability badge this will take me to code climate and we'll have that information. You can see I'm, I'm logged in kind of via uh, single sign on from GitHub here. So this is the, uh, the nerd dice Ruby gem project. If we go to repositories here. You can click here add a repository and what we want to add is nerddice.com. We'll click on add repo here. It's running through things. We've got kind of the 43 files there. Now we can take this and we can look at the build badge that we created. So there, there isn't anything other than if we look at the, uh, the nerd dice history here. When I did the Code climate here. It was just the 
um, the build and the um, the badge maintainability here. So we'll we'll do both of those. Um, I'll add that into the readme here. We'll check out a branch. In there's our readme. We'll check out a branch. call it that. So we're on our new branch called build badges. And so here we want nerddice.com instead of nerd dice for the build. Maintainability. That looks like I need to let's see here. It looks like a, a nested link here. Let's come back. Badges. So the maintainability badge, we want the markdown version of that. So we'll just copy that. And paste it in. And then we should be good to go here. Let's get status. Hope RuboCop wouldn't be angered by a change to a readme, but we'll run it just in case. All right. Add the readme. commit and I'll pause and write my commit message here. All right, I've got my commit message here. Save it. We'll push to and build badges. We'll let that, um, that build run and check on it in a few minutes. While we're doing that, I'm going to talk about the next um, issue that we're going to take a look at. So this is an issue to allow for the application system test uh, driver to be provided by the CLI. So right now, if you look at the test helper, not that application system test case. So right now you can see it's driven by Selenium using headless Chrome. So by default, it's Chrome. We, during the GitHub action creation, change that from Chrome to headless Chrome, which is fine and will be the uh, majority of use cases even uh, locally, we'll, we'll want to use that because it runs faster and um, gives us uh, what you want. But what you need to do sometimes is troubleshoot these application system test cases, and you can't do that if it's headless. So we're going to go in and take a look at the, um, the ability to do that. So kind of the examples that uh, we'd have here. Um, this will run with the default, so we'll set a default, and then uh, it will run with 
uh, with Chrome if you do that or Firefox or whatever other drivers you want to test around with. It should honor those and uh, launch with that item there. So I uh, used have a link here to an example of how to do this. So um, we've already got our gem file set up. We've got our um, kind of the stuff we need there. Uh, this is what our application system test case looks like now. And then um, this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to name the environment var variable slightly different, but um, overall it's the same idea. So take the environment variable that's provided um, and call to symbol on it. And then um, instead of just driven, driven by headless Chrome all the time, you need to be, have the ability to um, to override that. And th this article, it, it, it'd be an interesting thing to uh, to go go through and play with if you want to uh, set up rake tasks and do all that stuff for uh, your test cases. It shows how to do that. I think it's a, a little bit of overkill for what we need to do here, so I'm not going to go through that in this video, but uh, feel free to check this out and um, do it on your own. Let's check on our build now. Back to actions. Our build has succeeded. So we will merge it. Checks passed. And I can merge my pull request. Push merges our pull request. We'll resolve our issue. Close with comment, and then we can check out our next branch. Make sure we're on main. Delete our old branch, and delete it on the remote. Now we'll check out a new branch. Let's say allow allow test driver overrun. So let's take a look, make sure our build passed. So it did. Let's take a look at our main branch now. So we've got the link to coveralls working. So regenerate my coveralls key. And the build passing and then maintainability should take us to nerddice.com in GitHub and it does. So all of our acceptance criteria for this story have been met and we're good to go. So let's move this 
now into in progress and we'll make our changes using the example given here we'll add this in the driver environment variable there with the one I wanted from the issue. So browser test driver, just because driver is a little too um, generic and you might have that environment variable on your system for another reason or something so we're just going to to do that and then um, we just need to replace using headless chrome with using driver and save it so should be able to do now Rails test system this should still use headless chrome. We should probably restore our um, there we go. We'll check these items out and then do a hard reset on them in a second, but just back so that we've got tests to um, Categorize to make sure that our functionality works here. So, uh, should have one passing test now. Oh, we've got an error. What did I do wrong here? the smoke test controller. So let's take a look here. Yeah, I didn't add it in. So So that asserted and succeeded. Now our system test succeeded, but you can see it was headless. It didn't um, do anything there. So now we want to make sure that our um, our override works. And we can see that the browser um, allowed us to do that. If we go in to that smoke test page test and throw in a debugger statement. It should pause for us. 
I'll just do test system here. And now we can see our um, page here. We could do control shift C. We can do things like in inspect the console or sources or stuff like that. Um, allow us to trouble troubleshoot anything that's going on with a, a failing uh, application system test case. So. get rid of that debugger statement but that shows that our um, implementation here works now we need to easiest thing to do might be to just copy and paste here and do a git reset hard head so all these things are gone our working directory is clean we will go back in and paste our items there, run RuboCop, which might not like this. Missing top level documentation comment. Strange that it just now became upset with that. Good. We can always make that comment better if we have something more elaborate there. We'll add our file here. commit it, write our commit message. All right, I've got my commit message. We'll push to the branch. will allow that to run while we're doing that. I'll take a look. So uh, everything else that I've got in the backlog coming up is uh, related to installing and configuring uh, the RubyGem device, which we'll use to manage our user login and log out, sign up, kind of that, that whole account uh, creation and all that stuff. So we'll Probably have our next video will be a, a retrospective on the first six videos with the initial project setup and infrastructure and all that stuff. I it looks like this is probably a series of videos, kind of a little epic to get this up and running. So we'll um, 
I don't I think it would be too long to go without a retro if we don't do it that way so that'll be what we look forward to in the next episode is uh, retrospective and then following that we'll get uh, dig in and start setting up and um, doing device we'll take a look now back at our build it succeeded so we can pull request squash and merge option here works. I just want to fast forward merge. I'll Try that live though. Well, I guess we'll we'll see how it goes. All right. So pull, pull request successfully merged and closed. We go to main. It's building right now, but we should just have the one commit and we do so yeah that that worked in terms of uh, matching what we'd expect there and then we'll just close our issue project board gets updated and then we just need to go get go to main get pull and we've got our stuff up to date we'll delete our local extra branch did a rebase and merge we'll just in the future I'll just continue doing that via the command line so I rewrote the commit uh, SHA to um, to do that so we'll go here and delete the remote branch Should be good to go. I'll see you. In the retrospective. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice all while using a test-driven approach. 
Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.